programming Pelton here today. Today I'm going to build an app from scratch using AI, kind of show you that process. And then I want to talk about this new trend, which is called vibe coding, letting AI build apps for people. Can you do it if you're a non-developer? I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. AI coding, vibe coding is amazing until it slaps you in the face. Before we get started though, I want to ask you in the comments, what app have you always wanted to build? If you were a programmer, a master programmer, what app would you build? Can AI make that happen for you? That's what we're gonna look at today. I have been a web developer for over 20 years. I've seen trends come and go, you know, different frameworks, Ruby on Rails, different things that make coding easy, easier, I should say. But I've never seen anything like AI vibe coding. The power that it gives regular people or developers to build things quickly is crazy. It's not like anything I've seen in the industry. It's gonna, it changing the industry as a whole, I will say that. They call it vibe coding because you're not actually coding, you're just telling AI kind of the vibe that you're wanting, and then AI is doing the actual coding. I wanna consider too, is it worth being a programmer? I have a lot of programmers that I mentor, and they're asking me, hey, is our industry dead? Is AI gonna replace all the coders? And we'll talk about that as well. So first off, let's do some vibe coding. So I prefer Claude Code. Claude Code to me right now is the best product. I'm gonna do a, another video where I walk through the different vibe coding tools that you can use. Claude Code, you use in your terminal. So if this doesn't mean anything to you, if install node.js 18 plus means nothing to you, I would not recommend using Claude Code. Don't start there, okay? This is maybe for developers who want to use AI to code. If you were a complete noob, as we say in the industry, I would recommend starting with something like Bolt. And let me know in the comments. I want, I'm gonna do a video where I walk through all the different tools. There's like 50 different vibe coding tools. They each have their pros and cons. Bolt is one that I like. And I'll actually show you. I'm gonna build a quick web app, and I'll do it in both Claude and Bolt, and we'll just kinda see the results together. Then I'll talk about my experience with AI, because you know, with the Passive Apps program, we've been working on over 100 apps, my team and I, and AI has been evolving as this process has been going on. So first, let's get an app idea. What would be an amazing web app that would be easy to make, that could make a lot of money quickly, and is useful and cool? I really like talking to chat GPT. So I, I like using AI to get the idea for AI to build. So we have an AI resume and cover letter builder, AI based profile photo cleaner, simple social proof badge generator. These are kind of good ideas. AI contract agreement summarizer. That sounds dangerous. Habit tracker with social stakes. Let's go with this AI resume and cover letter builder. And that's what they actually recommend. Let's do this. All right, so let's, so I'm gonna use ChatGPT to kind of help build this. So let's start with, take this idea. Please give me a complete AI prompt for building this web app as simply as possible. An MVP, don't do payments. We will worry about that later. So I'm gonna take the prompt that ChatGPT gives me here. I'll put it into Bolt. I'll also put it into Claude Code. So we're gonna make directory. So Claude Code, you run in your terminal. So again, this is not for like brand new people. Like if you don't know what mkdir means in a terminal, don't, don't do this. Make directory resume builder. Go into the resume builder and start Claude Code. All right, let's see the prompt we got. So they gave us a prompt and they said, give this to your AI code agent. Build a minimal web app called Tailor My Resume. Very cool. All right. So it gave me this big, long prompt. I'm not even going to really read it. Let's just see what happens when I just paste it in. So I'm going to do it into Bolt. Okay, now that I'm signed in, I'll post this into Bolt. Ooh, if I tell them a little bit about myself, I get a million free tokens. Let's definitely do that. That's a lot. I'm a software developer, small business. I'm a full stack developer. I'd say I'm advanced. I don't know. Is that prideful? Building for clients or customers. Build and launch oh, an app website. Cool. Just got a million free tokens tokens. All right, so we'll let Bolt go away on that, and then Claudette Code, we will also get going on this. Shimmying. All right, we'll go ahead and let AI roll for a little bit. I'll be right back. If you haven't watched AI work, I mean, it's pretty pretty crazy. You know, it, it, Claude Code tells you what it's doing, so these are all the same commands that I would be typing myself into the terminal if I was building this myself. Um, and they ask for confirmation. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Claude Code asks for confirmation on a lot of stuff. Something like Bolt will not. But you can see the code that it is writing already. It's already written all this code. 
and I've been, this has been going for like a minute and a half. And again, this is for somebody, no coding experience, no coding knowledge. Okay. So cloud code is still going. They're getting some errors, but they're fixing it. And you can see bolt has run into some errors. So this is the first problem with AI is it writes and it gets errors. And then if you don't know what you're doing, you're kind of like, well, what, what in the world self is not defined. Why'd you not define self? Now you can have AI attempt to fix it, which a lot of times it works. So I'm gonna have Bolt try to fix the problem. You have to remember too, that this is all taking tokens. So you spend tokens for building this, but then even when it has problems, you're spending tokens to fix the problem. And if this doesn't fix it, a lot of times you end up in kind of these like error loops where it just doesn't work. And then they try something new and then they try again, they try again, they try again. Meanwhile, it's sucking all your money. Okay, looks like they did. were able to fix it, so that's good. Bolt's giving me a different error, failed to update token usage. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that means my tokens are free. I am impressed I got a million free tokens just for filling out that little survey. A million tokens is quite a bit. Like, this app won't take a million tokens. So let's go. Let's look at the, the preview so far. So this is so far. So, so far, Bolt defeated Claude in speed, okay? And I do want to do a full video where I just compare, like, a whole bunch of different vibe coding things but bolt was a lot faster Claude's still trekking away we'll see how long that takes but let's test it out so job posting url so let's get let's find a job posting job posting i just need like a random job let's go on indeed and just see what see what jobs there are in lincoln nebraska what do we got warehouse worker package handler apply on company site let's do that Claude's still going this is we're about five minutes in now so bolt's been done for probably about three minutes Claude code's still going. Okay, so we got a job posting here. So let's take this URL, copy, put it into here. Job posting URL, fetch job text, fetching. Okay, so you're you're seeing the problem with this vibe coding, right? I mean, it's, it's really the initial thing that this app is supposed to do and it doesn't work. So it gives an error. Let's see, unexpected token. Let's see if Bolt can fix it. We'll attempt fix. Again, this is taking tokens the whole time. Another error, two problems now. We'll go ahead and attempt to fix those. How's Cloud Code doing? It's still working on it. Let's see how Bolt does fixing these problems. Okay, they claim that they have fixed it. How's Cloud Code doing? Okay, we're about, we're seven minutes in from start. So Cloud Code quite a bit slower, but Bolt we're getting a lot of errors with. Refresh. Okay, I'm still getting this error, unexpected token. Let's try to fix that again. Okay, errors fixed. Cloud code, we're eight minutes in, it's still rolling. Let's go ahead and try fetching this job text again. Okay, get another error, unexpected token. Let's try fixing this again. So cloud code's still going, Bolt still trying to fix the problems. Nine minutes in, still getting the same problems and cloud code's still working on this. You know what, let's try something simpler. Let's just go to Bolt, let's just try a landing page. Build me a simple landing page for a light bulb website. This is cool, I can have Bolt building two things at once. And Cloud Code still, now it's testing the application. So I think we're getting closer on Cloud Code. Our web app, I think it's stuck. This is what I was talking about where you have these infinite loops where AI just cannot figure out how to solve this. So if you're not a programmer, I can go in and fix this error myself. AI is not gonna be able to do it. It's trying, it's trying, it just can't do it. Okay, so we might dive into the code to try and fix this for Bolt. But you see the landing page, it did really well. I mean, this is just a nice looking landing page. You can open it in a new window. So if you're gonna do vibe coding for something like a landing page, this works great. Works great for you know simple, easy things. It does not work super great, Bolt, for like a complicated app. And actually, it's not that complicated of an app. Like this is a nice landing page. This would have taken, if I was just typing in HTML and CSS, this would have taken me a long time. And it's probably responsive. Yeah, I mean, look at that, it's responsive. So what I recommend is if you're using something like Bolt, start with something small and then build on top of it. Don't give it like a full app that you're trying to build. Start with something very small and build from there. How's Cloud Code doing? It's still testing the application. Cloud code just about done here. We're gonna see what Cloud code made and then uh, we might call this video good. Again, if you want this to be a series, actually, I don't even care if you want it to be, I'm gonna make it a series because I, I just really think this is cool. All right, commands, install dependencies. Can I go ahead and run it? npm run dev. Again, this is not for non-coders if you don't know what npm run dev is. All right, let's see what it spun up. Localhost 3001. 
Okay, it doesn't look great. Bolt did a much better job with the design. We didn't specify a design, but you know, a normal programmer would know to make it look somewhat decent, maybe. Let's go ahead and see if it can fetch. It is getting the same exact error that Bolt got. You know what? I think that proves Bolt uses Cloud Code. Let's see if Cloud Code's able to fix this error though. All right, let's see. See how it did this time? Refresh it, fetch. Okay, at least it's some different errors this time. So it did fix that one error that Bolt was not able to fix. Let's see if it can fix this. All right, take four here. Let's see, let's see what we got. Refresh it, let me, let me kill the code, start it back up. When in doubt, restart things. Get the JavaScript console going to see what errors there might be. All right, so there's more errors. This is kind of what I expected to happen with an app complicated like this is even Claude code, if you don't kind of direct it a little bit better, you just run an error, 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 error. You could spend hours doing this. It will take a long time. In fact, I could probably code this faster myself than using AI. So consensus, vibe coding, very cool, very good for very simple things. If you want to do anything complicated, it's not quite there yet. I think it'll get easier over time. But for now, you're not going to be able to vibe code million dollar apps on your own. So I think next video, maybe I'll start with something a little simpler and we'll see if we can vibe code our way into it. You should see on my channel a lot more AI stuff. I just think it's really cool, but passive income, AI, maybe not as much crypto. If you'd like, I have this school group where we talk a lot about vibe coding. I show building apps from scratch. These are both web apps, iOS apps. I walk through... Um, I actually have a video series of getting an app into the app store, which I think is pretty cool in there. But you can go ahead and join. Seven day free trial. You don't have to pay anything. You can check it out for yourself. Appreciate you guys very much. I actually love all, I love AI. I love tech. I love new stuff. I've always been fascinated with gadgets and things like that. So this is like a dream for me. Appreciate you guys watching. God bless you all and have a great rest of your day.